Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sayyid Osama Aziz. Welcome back to another class of Introduction to Robotics course. In today's class, I am going to assemble the robot chassis. So this is the chassis that we are going to use and it is the same chassis that we are going to use for the entire of the robotics course. And we will make four types of robots using this same thing. But before we assemble it, we need to perform some soldering of wires. So without wasting any further time, let's move on to the soldering station. Okay, so the first soldering that we need to perform is these two wires on the two terminals of the motors. Okay, so we have soldered the wires on the DC motor. Now the next step is to connect them with the chassis with the help of these motor mounts. These motor mounts are present in this packet which you can find inside the robotics kit of Cobot. Okay, so first we need to insert this mount in this slit on the chassis. Like this. Then we need to use that second mount and connect it with the motor put this screw in it like this and then attach it onto the chassis like this and now simply put this nut on the other side You need to pay attention towards the side of the motor that is kept inward, that is the soldered wire side. Because these wires are to be used to connect with the motor driver. So that is why I have kept them towards inside and also it looks aesthetically uh, better when the wires are not visible when you look at the robot from the side. Secondly, these screws, their head is towards, uh, towards the outer side and the nut is towards the inner side. And the main reason is that we have to connect the wheel here so that uh, we do not want these two things to interfere with each other. That is why we have screws facing inwards. Now the next step is to connect these wheels to the shaft of the motors. Now in these type of robots, we do not have any steering to turn the robot. So what we do is we connect this free wheel at the front end and one method that we use in order to steer the robot is the differential drive. So these two motors run at different speeds to turn the robot left or right. So for example, if these two motors are running at the same speed, your robot will move forward or backward, depending upon the direction of the motors. But if we turn this, for example, left side of the motor at a higher speed as compared to the right side of the motor, then the robot will take the right turn and vice versa. So this is one technique that we use in robotics to turn the robot. This is the free wheel that we are going to use and in order to connect it to the front of the chassis we are going to use this double tape, double sided tape. Finally the last step is to connect this battery holder onto the chassis. But before we do that, I want to show you this switch button that I have soldered on the positive side of this battery holder. So this will enable us to control the robot and switch it on and off at our will. Thank you. 
So in this video, we have connected the DC motors alongside wheels. We have also connected the battery holder with a switch button. And these two are the wires coming out of the DC motors. These are the wires coming out of the battery holder. In the next coming videos, we will connect different components such as motor driver, Arduino, and sensors on this robot chassis. And we will program them using a software. So this is the end of the video. Here I would like to request you to please press the subscribe button. Also like this video if you are interested in this type of content. So let's meet into the future video. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.